A young girl fall in love normally, but is taken to be burned as witch by the church. The leader of the group was the uncle of twin sisters. Their parents had died, and they had to come here to be with their uncle. The butler brought them home, and reminded them to change their clothes or their uncle would be furious. They didn't understand what it meant, but decided to listen to the butler's advice anyway. But before they could go upstairs to change, their uncle pushed the door open. When he saw their clothes, it cursed them. Their parents had just died and yet they were dressed so exquisitely. Any serious first meeting leaves a bad impression on each other. Uncle only came back to change his shoes. He had a church meeting to go to. He repeats every day that the place is cursed, and they have to find out the evil one to burn her to death. There were reports of a new witch in a cottage in the woods. She lives alone, refuses to marry, has multiple lovers, and is absolutely evil incarnate. To condemn her immoral behavior, the church turned out in force. But this time, the woman was special because her lover was the local duke. He has a death warrant from the court and the king, so his uncle can't do anything about it, so he has to lead the group away. On his way back, that angry uncle grabbed a random woman. He said she was the devil's devil and burned her alive. He thought he was doing justice, but he didn't know that his actions were also evil. Upstairs the sisters hear him recounting the day's events to the butler, and Frida is intrigued by the mention of Duke under his breath. She can't help but look at Duke's castle on the hill and fantasize about living with him. Although the sisters look the same, their personalities are very different. Frida is open and rebellious, while Maria is kind and gentle. Frida is not willing to listen to her uncle's words. She must find a chance to meet this duke. At the moment, the duke is holding a ceremony in the castle. He wants to live forever, and to do so he sacrifices a girl. Lightning struck just then, and he succeeded. The girl's blood flowed into his dead wife's coffin. The dead wife suddenly came back to life, but the husband couldn't see her in the mirror because she had turned into a vampire. She assimilates her husband into a vampire and the town has a evil incarnate. The twins, new to town, are enrolled in a school where they meet Anton, the choir director. He's a handsome man with a passion for hunting. Miraculously, he could tell the twins apart the moment he met them. He talked to his sister Maria, but Frida found him rigid and was more interested in the Duke outside the window. Their conversation is just witnessed by the uncle. The uncle warns Duke to stay away from his niece and drags Frida back inside. Frida doesn't listen to him. She's so excited about meeting Duke that she plans to spend the night at his castle to have fun with him. Maria urges her to come to her senses, but she warns her sister to keep her mouth shut or she'll be in trouble. Maria had to give up. Duke welcomes Frida to come. Frida thinks she's found a great support, but all he wants to do is turn her into a vampire and destroy the town. At first she resisted, but after realizing the joy of blood sucking, she grew to enjoy it and became a different person. During the day, she disguises herself as a human and goes to school with her sister. But at night, she sneaks out in search of prey. Uncle still blames the witch for the strange events in the town, and many innocent girls have been killed by her. And Tom couldn't stand it, and wrote a letter to the elder to expose their cruelty. When his uncle found out, he threatened Anton with his sister. The uncle told him to mind his own business or his sister would suffer. In order to protect his sister, he had to find an excuse to send her to his aunt's house for a few days. And Anton took over her teaching duties at school. Every night, people in the town die in mysterious ways. All of them drained of their blood. The local church brings the bodies of the dead to the school to warn against dealing with the devil. But he doesn't know that the devil is among the girls. As night falls, Frida is out hunting again. This time is the member of the church. Her uncle arrived at that moment, afraid of being punished. Frida says they were attacked by vampires, but there is still blood on her lips. The uncle doesn't believe her. He simply pulls out a crucifix and Frida bears her fangs. The real evil is on his own side and the uncle imprisons her in the slammer. He thought Frida was a vampire, so his sister Maria must be no different. He came home to take Maria away, but the housekeeper stopped him. She said Maria slept with a crucifix in her hand and could never be the devil incarnate. Housekeeper's insistence makes the uncle give up, but the twins are telepathic. In her dreams, Maria senses Frida is suffering and she tosses and turns in agony. Duke sees his chance to enter the room and grab Maria and take her to the cell. Now all he had to do was switch Maria and Frida's clothes so no one would recognize them. Frida returns to the room in her pajamas and Maria is taken to the torture chamber. Anton heard about it and went to the room. Frida disguised herself as Maria and cried in his arms. But in her eyes, Anton realized something was wrong. He took out a crucifix and burned her, then immediately robed to the execution ground. Maria is already tied up, and the crowd won't listen to her explanations. Anton arrives just in time to tell them they are the wrong man, and produces the cross to prove Maria's innocence. Only then does the uncle realize that the real devil has escaped, and that he has almost hurt his innocent knees. Anton decides to join forces with the uncle, together with the crucifix, the axe and the stake. 
they attack the castle to kill the real evil. When they receive the news, Duke and Frida try to escape through the underground passage, but the uncle is waiting at the exit. He grabbed Frida and chopped off her head. Duke closes the stone door and hides in the cellar. Maria was devastated by Frida's murder. She rushed to the castle to save her, but was taken hostage by Duke. At this critical moment, her uncle grabbed the X on the wall and went towards Duke. After their confrontation, the uncle was thrown down the stairs. At the same time, Anton threw the spear in his hand and hit Duke's heart, and Maria was saved. Both the uncle, who used justice as an excuse for his evil deeds, and Duke, who is the devil incarnate, are punished. Twins of evil is set in Europe during the witch hunts. It blends witch and vampire elements to create a horrific worldview. The movie employs many fantastical and flamboyant settings. It blends many horror elements with each other while creating a perfect sense of atmosphere. And the costumes and actors are very beautiful. The plot is rather cliched, but overall it's worth a watch.